Says we're excellent connection, but then it says we're not streaming. Says we're connected now. (laughs) Darn you, China. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be in time and space. Kenny is back. Sky dude. You do the chop off. Yeah, Neo Fly, and you want to join, you can join anyway. So, uh, we're going to do choppers today, and if you have Neo Fly and you want to fly along, I'm doing freelance. Here's one that's 54 miles. Man, 54 miles in a chopper for me, that's a long way. Here's one. Oh, illicit cargo. 14 miles. Hello to... Hey, good morning. Gosh. Had a delayed start. Some uh, messages were popping up. The service was disrupted. Right as uh, China is doing a big... uh, cyber attack at the moment on the United States. All right. So we're supposed to deliver some illicit cargo down to this street. Can't read it from there. Try to bring this over to my main screen. Do, do, do. All right, so the name of the street is Loving in summertime is right where we belong. Okatio View. The drinks in our hands are cold. Military You're Reservation Boundary Road. Really? We're dropping off illicit cargo near a military base? And it's next to I-25 at Midway. Well, it's not very far. Let me pause that for a moment. All right, let's see if we can get this mission. Transporter, you are above the radar detection altitude. Descend as quickly as possible. Oh. Transporter from dispatch. Illicit mission this time. Wait in the parking until a weird guy gets on board. (laughs) Yeah. All right, we better go back to the main menu then. Wait until a weird guy. Pizza is fresh from the oven and is being loaded as I speak. Really? They're calling it pizza. That's such a negative connotation in the uh, conspiracy world. I mean, that's it. That's as bad as it gets. When you, I know, when you say pizza, that is as, that is bad. It's bad. I don't appreciate that. Really, to be completely honest. I want to try one of these missions. I haven't done an illicit 
But uh, I remember reading now, and I went over there and I talked to them, and I'm like, "Really, guys, you're gonna do an illicit, and you're gonna say it's you're gonna call it pizza?" Well, I'm like, "You don't you don't even know you don't even know what you're talking about, do you? You're just making it, you know, you're using popular terminology to generate an illicit mission. But do you even understand? Well, it is what it is. Okay, all right. Well." Pretty sad. Okay. So not a whole lot of experience with these at all. And uh, same with gliders. And so that's why I've been fumbling around trying to figure them out. Getting my control set. That's been the biggest problem. That's for sure. Make sure we still have that mission. Probably turn on the automatic scene. And that's much better. Okay. Free flight inspection. Throttle closed. Landing lights. All right. Been invited a group. There we go. Over to this. Ew. Darn you, China. <clears throat> Okay. Landing lights. Oh, I don't see them up here, sir. Okay. Uh, landing lights. Okay. My cockpit uh, textures are bad. Free switch. I've got a little bit of wind. Check. Check. Caution lights. Like with centering light. All right, back to the top. Collective lever. Pull down. Cycle pedals centered. Throttle idle, fuel pressure normal. Start switch. I didn't say anything about mix. Hmm. Colorado Springs ground Kinias two one. I see. India request taxi to the active departing straight out. Kinias two one 
So the start is not a start, it's just a start switch, then you do your generator. Uh, this, I believe it is, whatever the default helicopter, the larger one. You're like three flight hours off of 200, far out. All right, let's double check that we still have a mission. No, it blew the mission out. Oh no. Well, that's a real bag. I don't think the plane, the helicopter is supposed to be started for this. Dispatch to pilot. Mayday! Mayday! We have been requested by the authorities to lead a search and rescue mission. Stand by. Right in the mountain. Transporter. We have received the distress beacon signal. Head to the last known position. Everything looks good from where I'm sitting. Taxi to the runway and take off. Oh, what happened? Now the helicopter is not. Just a touch. That didn't work right. Oh boy, okay. Well, that didn't work. Let's see here. We're getting real farts today. Oh my. Nope. My gosh, it's always something on one of these shows. All right, can we do this? Yeah, but why is the why are we still getting the beeping? Taxi two and hold short runway one seven left. Kinias two one. That is annoying as hell. The battery should shut up. That's a battery noise. No, I messed up. How in the hell did you get rid of that beeping noise? Ah, uh, gads.
I, the rotations are incredibly ridiculous. And I don't have my joystick set up, I guess. I mean, I have it set up right. It's just that, man. Hopefully he doesn't blow the job out again. Damn it. These two aren't playing nice together. Neo Fly and uh, the simulator today. Normally, if you screw up, it's really lenient, you know? So if you have to screw up and go back to the start of the menu and come back in, it doesn't blow the job out. Mayday! 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 An aircraft has just crashed. Bring the doctor to the crash site. Okay. So hopefully we still get it. Hello, okay. pilot. I'm the medic. Let's go. All right, so we're taking the medic then. Pilot, the medic is on board. Let's go. All right. Everything looks good from where I'm sitting. Time so if you have Neo Fly and, and you open your sky for sim. In G. We can zoom out. We should get... There we go. Man, we've got to go into the mountains. No bueno. All right, well, let's try it. Minimize this on you. I saw you a minute ago. You were uh, you're not too far from me. You're just uh, matter of fact. If I have it right, you were just yeah. You're right above me. Yeah, you were in that parking lot right next to me. Alright, Captain, we are headed to the west. Probably go south of Cheyenne Mountain that way. This is where it gets touchy for me. I don't like flying it manually if, if, if you're just going to fly a straight line. So getting my nose tipped down that I can gain some forward momentum without completely bottoming out and sending me flying to the ground. See, it's sending me to the ground. And then if I hit up, yeah. But then if I bring the nose back up, just using the nose controls, it like resets it. Instead of just incrementally. I'm gonna have to look into those controls. There's gotta be a way to incrementally bring it back up. So let me incrementally bring the nose back down. You see when I'm just doing my nose tilt down. Go. See, and then she goes into like an extreme nose down, and the simulator just crashed. Well, that's lovely. Hmm.
Uh, it's a uh, it's a Monday. Welcome to Monday. Trying to restart the simulator. Some sunshine. Yeah. Wow, it's China, man. China. Loving in summertime, watching the waves roll down. Hey, thank you to Curtis for being the latest subscriber. Let me raise my coffee to you. Cheers. Thank you, Curtis. Good morning, Hans. Hope you don't mind. We're flying helicopters today. We're, well, I'm trying. I'd like to say that we're flying. We're not getting very far. Well, I'm not getting very far, per usual. It's the Chinese, man. The Chinese are doing it. Let's blame them. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and try to continue in normal mode. You got to a spin and crash. That's usually me. Let's get some sunshine. Beep, beep, beep. Get some sunshine. Pause right there for a minute. I don't like this next song anyway. So, there's all these commercials out there. It's still loading. Uh, there's all these commercials out there of these uh, military grade powerful flashlights. You've never seen anything like it. You can stick it into ice, into frozen water, into lava. You can stick it up, never mind. You know, it's one of these, uh, and it'll shine 200 miles. And it can illuminate an entire city. There's never been a flashlight like this. And they advertise these on these uh, infomercials all the time. And then I get into the Cessna planes in here. You know, and I'm coming in for a landing. Or I'm on the runway, and I can't. I mean, I have bad night vision pretty much, and even in the simulator, it's not that great. So I come for a landing on the runway, and it's just like you've got this one little tiny light on your Cessna and other planes, and I can't even see the like. The, it's not bright enough for me to clearly even see where the turns are. Sometimes those little um, your uh, your runway taxi lights, the blue lights. Those are particularly difficult for me to see and to actually make out where the turns are sometimes. And sometimes the uh, the taxi lights don't line up the way they should anyway. Right? They 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 line up, uh, you know, sometimes they're off. And I end up driving into a ditch. And so I keep uh, uh, 
protesting uh, over there at the flight simulator forums, and I'm like, I, I want the bell and howl lights for our, our airplanes. Can we get, you know, a, a DLC for that? I mean, they're like, well, we just released the enhanced night pack and enhanced lighting, so you should have better lighting now. I don't want better lighting. I want stupid lighting. I want extreme lighting, not just better, enhanced, stupid. I want stupid lighting for my plane and aircraft, and I want to be able to illuminate everything within five miles. <laughs> I want the lights so bright I can cook a turkey, right? You don't want to stand in front of my plane. You'll take heat damage. That's the kind of lights that I want. All right, we'll try this again. Let's try to spawn here at runway 35 right in uh, KCOS. Let me put that in the chat room. Starting here, if you have NeoFly, we're attempting to get a NeoFly mission at the same time. Um, okay. Brush your fingers. Wish I spoke German. Da -da, da -da. You know, I actually, I should probably go there. One of my favorite foods, it's, it's going to sound really stupid. One of my favorite foods is, uh, you know, sausages. Sausage, right? And they make those sausages over there. They make them here too, but... You really got to find a, a German deli. And it's the veal ones that are very, very pale in color. Gelbwurst, maybe, something like that. I don't know. All I know is it's the, the bratwurst that's it's made with veal, and it's very, very pale. All right, now let's see if I can get that job again. VIP helicopter run, 44 miles, 28 miles, 18 miles, emergency. Taking us out to the east, which will be much safer. Mayday, mayday, mayday. An aircraft has made an unscheduled landing. Bring the doctor to the crash site. I'm the medic. Let's go. You sound an awful lot like the lady that was just talking on dispatch. Pilot, the medic is on board. Let's go. Uh, one moment. It says Every my sky sim thing seeing. isn't on. Taxi to the runway and take off. About this, it's gonna be hard to pinpoint. There we go. Populating. All right. There. All right, so all we got to do is fly east. All right. We don't crash again. Fly safe and watch the pylons. Yep. I've get it, get it, I've got to get it to lock my trim right. So I get I get nose down and I get forward momentum. Okay, I don't have enough power. My God, this is ugly. So we have enough power, but now tip forward a little bit. <coughs> And 
check our compass. We're not headed directly east. We're still going up. Right, that's east. I'm gonna have to, have to take some helicopter classes now too. There's got be a way to get your forward momentum. Stop raising altitude. See, I use my trim to come down, and then it's like extreme trim down. It, it won't find that happy medium to like. Like, can we just go forward, please? Learning how to balance this thing and trim it out right. What a trip. Come on, keep the nose down. Ah. Oh my god. Like, like with flying the gliders. All right, I heard you. All right, how do you turn it back off? Great. I induced a spin, and now I got a beeper that won't go away. torque power what it was it I don't know over speed okay, up yours aha airspeed Hey, nice flyby. Come on, you beast. If I could get this thing flying in a straight line, that'd be great. Nice, you guys look great out there. Get rid of this thing. We're going to save some Sims. Ah, I did it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me I'm decreasing airspeed too too much now. Which decreased it. Airspeed. But I'm guessing.
it has got to be it has got to be a trim problem taking a moment here to adjust some controls pardon me I got this. It is incremental. Set it. I see. Longitudinal. Joystick one and joystick one are tied here. Seem to work at all. Some it's met the mark cocaine, but your straight whiskey in my veins. The vision goes with my good sense, and I'm right back here behind the fence. It's all hard time when I do time with you. But I can't break these chains when I keep acting like a fool. Well, do you have to look that good when I'm trying to say goodbye? Do you have to speak that devil tongue?
tried to kick you twice before that wagon dropped me to the floor it's a sad sad sight when a woman falls for a man who likes to watch her crawl but when the gate slams shut i just go numb prison by your ways when will i see the sun My lord. Instead, the nose goes up. And I'm gaining altitude. I don't want to gain altitude. I just want to go forward. Is that too much to ask? Just, I just want to go forward. Got no trim. It does have trim. That's what I'm doing here. Like, I'm pressing. Alright, my thumb button. Alright. The thumb button is right now causing the nose to go down. Now, my trigger button is going to start raising the nose. So now I'm pushing down. Thumb button. The nose is going back down. Trigger. Transporter from dispatch. You are less than three miles from the drop zone. Find a place to land. Oh, well, we made it here. The search zone is right over here. Aha. It's that patch right over there. Oh, give me a break. Come on. Come on, easy. Put on that disguise, that warm and loving feeling. 
Well, we limped here. At least we got it. All right, well, we did it. We've saved somebody today. Transporter from dispatch. Good job, pilot. You can land where you want. All right. Whoa. Oh, that was such a nice. Oh, you had to control that. Get to the chop off. Forty-eight minutes after the hour, Monday, flying with Hans and Henning out here doing choppers today. They're doing what are those little? They look like little pipers. Nice planes. That's so touchy. There we are. Okay, nose down. Nose down. We'll be right here waiting without trouble on our minds. I don't want to go up anymore. I want to go forward. There we go. To get wound up and die. Some pits. Trouble is just passing by. This trouble is just passing by. We have been. Right? We're trying to get it light locked in to where not going down or up and doing straight and level flight. Yeah, I'm gonna take some helicopter lessons, I think. The, half the battle is getting my controls to work, and for a long time, my helicopter controls just didn't work at all, period. I had no control. As soon as I got into the aircraft, she would go into a spin, and nothing I could do would take her out of the spin. There are some cheats or assistance options, I think, that you can turn on for helicopters. So let's see if any of those can help us out. Auto rudder, yeah, on. Assisted yoke. Yeah, why not? Let's try it. So that's for airplanes. Helicopters, assisted cyclic is on. Assisted tail rotor is on. 
turbulence, set to realistic. Auto trim. Wonder how that would work. Auto trim would be nice. Oh, I like that. That's close to straight and level, sort of. I mean, we're not going up, we're not really going down. <laughs> Easy, man, right there. Right there. Now she's sinking again. I love watching guys that can fly helicopters. They're hey, that's beautiful. They uh, they're amazing, you know. Make it look so easy, and the speeds that they're able to get and maintain forward flight. Again, it's like anything else. Give me a while and I'll figure it out. Give me some tests. Give me some time to take some tests and uh, watch some uh, tutorials on it on how to fly helicopter better. But I did pretty good last week learning about thermals and doing pretty good with the gliding. Not great, but you know, at least learning how to stay up as long as I can. I'm not going to be doing any cross countries as a glider anytime soon. Ads are let me check the settings on the ads. I'm sorry about that. I don't like them, I hate them. It says there's one every 18 minutes. Let me set it to 30 minutes.
Yeah, she's not a delicate butterfly. I don't I don't got the controls right. I'm trying to just do some rudder trimming. Yeah, that's the configuration she's supposed to be in. She doesn't want to hold that right there. down too hard he gads folks helicopters or something else I don't think the uh, the bell will be any different the little tiny one I think it's gonna be the same as this It is nice. It will be able to. It would be nice to be able to fly it with precision, and then there's got to be a way. I know there is. I'll. Uh, 
eventually get it. Two notches of trim down on the longitudinal. Three. Four. Six. So, and we're actually gaining altitude. Okay. But see, then she starts tipping nose down so hard. I don't understand what she's doing. Why do you do that? Yeah, unless I can learn how to build up speed in this thing. Look at the gliders. How do I build up speed in this thing? Without nose downing, nose diving. So funny, it feels like we're just barely moving, but we're almost doing 90 knots. I don't know what the average speed is, but this thing goes up to 140.
Well, hold the hundred knots. <clears throat> No work. Yeah, she's a bouncy thing. Keeping her completely balanced is a tricky, tricky, tricky thing. I got a question out there in the chat room for any of you, but directed at Henning at the moment. Do you know how to VOR navigate? You don't? Okay. on the golf course, not crash. Uh, easy, easy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Easy. No. <laughs> Man. It's very much like gliding the other day. Every two minutes crashing. Virus. And pause there for a minute and have a smoke break. What? I haven't even heard of that. What is the virus? <clears throat> so in the past, I would do a lot of um, VOR training. I was asking about it. Definitely a big part of uh, not necessarily navigate navigation today. I'm sure it still is, but I heard they're kind of slowly phasing it out for GPS. But Yeah, I don't even, I'm not even sure what it is. What the virus is. There are keys that I should probably get set. One of them is to reset the rotor trims.
I'm flying the... Well, badly. I'm learning how to. I am flying this bad boy today. or trying to figure it out. And she's giving me fits, sir. <laughs> and we are at KCOS if you'd like to join. Yeah, so trying to get the hang of this thing, and I don't believe I have my controls set up right uh, somewhat. That's an, that is an interesting effect. You can hover, but as soon as you start gaining a little forward of momentum, it's interesting. You have no wings, but still there is a lift. <clears throat> the nose down a little bit more. Yeah, we're still getting a little bit of of lift. And put the music back on here. Thanks for joining today, Angel. Uh uh, and then she starts doing that thing. Instead of holding, she starts nose diving. And I don't know if she'll correct herself before hitting the ground. And why would it? Just right now, I'm just trying to figure out how she behaves. I need to find some. I need to find a helicopter pilot. She won't hold keep her nose. Ah, oh, the simulator crash. That's twice today. We don't normally crash at all. That's a typical Monday. Welcome to Monday, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Monday in flight simulator. Yeah, I'm going to need to find a helicopter pilot. Right, it's coming back up. Give it a minute. I've crashed. The simulator crashed. There, she's coming back. Uh, I'm using a uh, 
Oh man, that means a lot. Thank you very much. I'm gonna continue in safe mode and then back out of it again and restart it. Look at the way she's bouncing right now. Poor thing. I really appreciate that sub, Angel. Thank you so much. I, I really do. I'm sorry I'm not putting on that good of a show today, but again, it's all learning, trying to learn. We got our pay for the day. We already did our Neo Fly mission for the day, and we went and uh, did a quick little emergency run and made a little bit of money for the day. I'm also using the uh, the Neo Fly app um, to do these jobs, and I'm in freelance mode. I don't own the helicopter. I'm just renting it, and that provides us these freelance jobs to choose from. That's a pretty neat program, but with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 coming out, it seems a little bit... Uh, it's not up to snuff to what they're, I think, the simulator is going to deliver. You don't actually see any emergency crash. It's just a, a smoke place to land at. But it's been a fun little program. And uh, up to this point, earned $10 million. Um, and it's not easy to do. For a while there, I had some extra pilots. And you can you can get extra pilots but they want you to buy an expansion now and pay more money to get your pilots back. And I was playing during the alpha in the testing, so I had the pilots for a while. And that's what enabled me to make 10 million simoleons. Could be. Let me. I can definitely check my fans. Definitely, a, uh, it's one of those programs that um, will overheat your graphic card and eat up a graphic card very quickly. And we'll check the fans. Do to do to do. That was an interesting beep. Yeah, that could be the problem. All right, let me close and back back out of the program again. Sorry, but once you enter in safe mode, Idiot. Okay, so the fans, 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 fans. Yeah, that was that's probably definitely the problem. The fans in the AMD card de defaulted back to un basically an off state. So, yeah, that's gonna. It's going to uh, be a big problem. So thank you for making me aware of that again. And now the fans are up to uh, hurricane speed. And the simulator will come back up in just a moment. Today's episode is... Get to the chopper. And we've kind of done get to the chopper. I think I'm going to need uh, some helicopter lessons. And then we'll try it again. You asked if I wanted to fly something. Are we going to fly anything different today? We can. Uh... I had mentioned VOR earlier, and my um, when I first started training out of KFly, which is just a few miles from the airport we were just at, uh, I really wanted to learn how to do it. I mean, I can take the, you know, you can go take the tests and, and follow the training and get your A on it or whatever, but unless you kind of use it a lot, So I'd be happy to show you some of that. I really got into that for a while. I even learned how to triangulate. Now, there's a big word. It's not that much. But uh, using two VORs to pinpoint a spot in space. 
and using two VORs and the radials set a certain way to to triangulate positions. But I'm open to suggestions. Henning, is there anything you wanted to fly? I think uh, the other day when we were doing the um, the launch of the uh, 14th update, I didn't show the Sirius, the new Sirius. I didn't download it. I, I did the upgrade, the update to the uh, simulator, and then and then you guys wanted to see that Sirius plane, the SR22, and um, so I just loaded up what whatever popped up when we reloaded, and then I went into the content manager and saw that oops. I didn't have it, so. What do you fly, Angel? What's your uh, what's your favorite aircraft? How long have you been flying? The ten questions. How long have you been flying? Um. Are you a real life pilot? Are you just a simulator pilot? What's your mother's maiden name? <laughs> How many hours do you have? What do you, you keep calling it the virus, but there's nothing. As far as I know, there's I don't have a plane called the virus. But what do you what are you referring to as the virus? You don't fly. Well, that's awesome. You're checking on a stream like this you'd like to learn how to fly I can definitely start doing more uh noob friendly and I mean that in the best way I was uh I've been struggling at this for years to learn how to do I don't fly for real I'm not a real pilot my dad flew and that inspired me to learn how and uh I've been trying to learn how to do it as if I was going to learn how to do it in the real world and applying myself that much to learning as much as I can. It's actually called the virus. Okay, well let's let's go look. That's set to all. So if I type in the virus. The pipstrel. The pipistrel. Okay. Uh, no, I, I don't. I think I may have played around with it once or twice, just going through, so I have played all the planes. But um, no, I have never really messed around with the Pipistrel. Oops. Oh, come on, you. The virus, huh? That's weird. Why would they? Why do they call it the virus? And I'll go with one that's uh, go with the one that's black, the flight simulator one. And I will um, let's uh, let's do K fly runway instead, unless you have another runway in mind. Okay, I'm going to K fly. This is where my dad learned how to fly. And uh, I don't know what the METAR is right at the moment, or wind direction. But it's starting us down here, so I'm... I see. 144 knots, that means we should be taken out the other way. Well, it's actually... It doesn't really matter, I guess. That's alive. It's an aircraft from Poland. Let me see what I can find out here on it real quick. Pipistol virus. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Okay, what it says is, it says this campaign could be over next time you're here. The Pipistrel Virus is a two-seat single-engine light aircraft manufactured by Pipistrel in Slovenia and Italy 
and sold as an ultralight home built kit or light sport aircraft like the Icon A5. Introduced in 1999 based on the design of the Pipistrel Sinus, the Virus has been produced in a number of variants with different engines, wingspans, and undercarriage configurations. It can be equipped with a full airframe emergency recovery parachute system, which you did mention the other day, Henny. The high wing cantilever monoplane and pod and boom configuration with a T tail and air brakes. The cabin has a two seat side by side. It's fixed undercarriage can be pro provided in either trike or tailwheel configuration. Build a long wing version powered by an 80 horsepower 60 kilowatt Rotax 912 or in short wing version uh, equipped with several options of Rotax 912 and 914 engines. The Virus SW121. And Explorer SW-121A line of aircraft are rated for intentional spins. The aviation journalist Paul Bertarelli has criticized the aircraft's design for lack of cabin occupant uh, crashworthiness. However, the manufacturer points out that this kind of issue is typical of an aircraft in the LSA category. The design has no history of head trauma during the accidents that have occurred. By February 2014, Pipistrello produced more than 600 sinus virus aircraft. Production has reached uh, 1,000 aircraft by March 2019. April 2016, the virus SW-121 received the ACE of full type certificate. The SW-121 is powered by Rotex 912S3 and is designed to meet the ACE of requirements for a light sport airplane. On January 8, 2012, Slovenian pilot Matt Evs Lenarsis, Lenarsik, launched an around-the-world flight attempt from Slo Slo Slovenia in a turbocharged virus sponsored by the Green Light World Flight. Part of his flight, he flew, he flew past Mount Everest at an altitude of 8,944 uh, meters, some 90 meters above the peak's height. And I just got an Xbox. Flagger House, Flagger House 18 invited me to play Microsoft Flight Simulator. All right. Let's take a look. Oh, she's pretty. I don't recall that. That must be a graphic texture problem. Unless the seats are meant to be that way. I wouldn't imagine like a graphical problem there. Okay. All right, uh, VOR. Let me grab my um, sky vector. All right, and I'm gonna type in H G O. And go that. You don't need to go to that. What I'm looking for is the frequency, 1121. All right. Excellent. Mars fan. That just popped up. But now, where to go? I want to accept. It, I clicked accept. Okay, so 1121, open down here, I want nav, I don't remember how now, that's calm. trying to change this that send it down there boy what the hell just happened there 
are we sharing screens somehow with the somehow or another I'm looking out of your screen how is that happening oh I see you're sitting right on top of me <laughs> oh thank you I appreciate that back to Okay. There we are. Pushing the button changes me up and down here. I want to move out of com now, uh, com radio, and move down to nav radio. And I want to change this to one one two one. One one two one zero. All right. All right. Scoot forward a little bit. <laughs> Here you go. One one two one. Now I need to click this and make it active. And we're a little low on the ground to receive the signal, but directly out east. We'll soon be receiving that that signal. We need to make sure that we're set. Our CDI over here is set to VOR1, which it is here. And we need to set our CDI here to VLOCK. All right. You can also plug this in directly, but I don't want to do it directly at the moment. All right. Get up in the air. All right, little virus, let's see what you got. Oh, down, sporty. Always something. The immortal words of Rosanna, Rosanna, Dana. Better. All right. He handles nice going down the runway. Um, for being a tester, I believe. For being a an alpha tester. I helped on a lot of things. We would get all the airport information. Like, okay, we're we're we need to confirm all these airports are working. They would give us a giant list of airports and we'd have to go uh to each one and do surveys and it was a lot of fun. I didn't test any aircraft for the most part. Alright. There we are. On our Green, we picked up the uh, five hundred. Heading east. Squawk 076. 
on my heading button here. Heading. That's not a button per se, is it? About course. That's cursor. Have any trim? Oh, she's got an autopilot sweet all right I need to find the course knob oh, this is interesting Okay, well you can turn the knob, get centered here in a moment, and start centering. to see if she'll catch it automatically and turn. Course knob here and the right frequency 1121 put in the nav 2 and activated gives me the 
the air the green arrow to pointing towards the VOR source. Nine thousand feet. Be high enough now. You hit alt hold. Okay. So I'm approaching. What it's saying is that I still need to fly a little bit southeast to intercept the current radial. And then, the, you know, as I approach it, it'll become, you know, it'll make a solid. And I want to see if the plane will turn in autopilot mode, set to nav, set to VOR, and the CDI over there is set to VOR. If she'll turn and follow it. I'll have to let him know that their seat textures are, or I'll have to up check my drivers and be intercepting any second here. Come on, baby. She is the moment she is not. It doesn't matter if she does, if she doesn't, because we can still find our way to the VOR. Give it another minute. Now the air, yeah, we're flying over it. Let me try again. Okay. I'll turn to meet it anyway. And actually, I can use my heading controller. Where's the heading dial? Heading. Oh, that's neat. I've never used one of these type of Garmin before. Uh, definitely a different interface. All right, so you you hit the heading button and then activate the bug that way. So I can just plug it in into a heading hold. Well, compensate a little bit, go back to the green yellow line. You think you know what's going on. This song blows. You think you got it made. That sounds very Eagles. Hopeful. Oh, and then the banjo. I took my chances just as I was getting over my back. Found myself sneaking out to places trying to make myself happy. I never thought one little suggestion could turn my head. I'm spending money that we don't have while you lie in bed. I feel like I let you down. I get it. I do too.
All right. Oh no! An engine failure. She said, I know you care, but I don't understand why you hurt me. I thought my love for her would make up for the nights I played. But now she's moved out and I'm eating off the TV tray. Uh, why don't you pick where to fly? I was looking for Henning. He said he went down, had to make an emergency landing. I see him out there, though. I don't, it doesn't matter to me where we fly. Um, currently in, uh, not too far from K fly. Who would plant some trees right in the middle of a road? She struck. Oh, they're not in the middle. To keep my piling light on for way too long. Fire dies tonight. Three miles. No fuel left to burn Shocked by all that I have learned And the fire dies tonight And if your idea of helping me Is to hide all your life You never really knew me No do or our goodbyes it's sad that all I fear And it turns out I was right in my heart, the fire dies Wrong break button. Burn, coasting through this final turn, and the fire dies tonight. Cause if your idea of helping me is to hide all your lies, you never really knew me. All you do or are good. You pick where we're gonna fly, and I'm gonna sip my coffee here for a minute. Possibly hop out of the airplane for a minute. Heart, the fire dies and uh out cigarette. It'd be wrong for me not to accept my share of the blame is a case to us to play out these stupid little games. And now it's plain to see that I completely lost my at two three c o all right you get back on the cockpit i can be there two three c o Now. 
Yeah, but how do you move to the next one? Exigent 626 Denver Center radar contact. Continue to call. United 445 contact. Uh huh. Good day. EDWU. One, two, five, yeah, let's go over there. EDWU. Let me just figure out how to put this in. 23CO. And then you gotta pull it. Get that arrow there. And there it is. Hi Mesa, Rush, Colorado. Enter, enter. Change this back to GPS source. So you're behind me. And there you are there. And there you are. So that's how I would find you. Alright, so you wanna let's uh go to a different airport. We're going to E D W U. It's in the chat room. Now, I don't have Germany loaded, so my graphics probably aren't going to be up to snuff with what you've got on your end. ED. I can't believe Charles Lindbergh flew in that thing. I got I like flying the Spirit of St. Louis, but my god. I mean, talk about knowing having to learn and know your instruments and your maps so well. That's that's just a sheer test of mental stability and competence. Looking out that little side window that drove me crazy. like best way to climb. I don't know if it's a right-handed or a left-handed airport, but I'll go ahead and take a your right. How pretty. It's nice and green. In a town over here. Some places of note. Of men who? And Twill. Got bumped. 
Yeah, I think we just saw it. To tell? It's hard to read that when it's in the sun like that. Garel? Everything's so green here. That's lovely. Nice wind towers. Virus can do. Cut it too hard. I need a 150. I think this is a 90 horsepower. Sure, whatever you want. Whatever you want. I'm I'm up. To get up to three thousand feet, he's pretty. I love the airfields over here. I love how they have the—I don't know if they're rocks or whatever—but they delineate the runways with these nice little white stones or white markings. That they take pride in theirs. Our airfields out here, shit, can barely tell where one is. Ah, here's my patch of dirt. Let me not at least put some white rocks down for you. Our airports over our, you know, people's private airports and just some of these airports out here in America, they're just goofy. I love European airfields. Wow. 
there's a big hesitation there. Yeah, I want to get to 3,000 feet, and then we can safely uh, do some some turns and stuff. Himmelmans. Go east seven miles. All right, let me spin back around. Okay, heading east. Three thousand feet. Woman, if we could flip her over. Not really, not pretty. Didn't get the turn I wanted. I see an airport. Let me see. Let me try not putting flaps in. Do I flip over? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that kind of works. Ah, uh, that was ugly. Horn. Oh, that looks like some nice fishing down there. Look at that. Ah, oh, whoever lives there, then they, hopefully they've got good, good fish. Oh, yeah, more water. Over speed. Ball's pretty.
He doesn't like. I like it. He doesn't like to stall. I mean, she, I mean, I'm trying to make it stall. And it's like the icon. It doesn't want to stall. This has better anti stall than the icon, I think. I'm holding the joystick all the way back. I want her to stall, and she just don't doesn't want to stall. Put full flaps in. Wow. That's notable. I gotta give it that. That's why I couldn't do my implement, I think. Let it fall. Yeah, that's very impressive. No, nope, she's not stalling at all. Again, joystick full back. This hangs there. See about using the rudder. He's still trying. Full rudder deflection while doing, trying to perform a, a stall. Great handling, amazing handling at low speed. Look at that. It's like we're just hovering. That's lovely, that's fantastic. Let it fall. Oh, baby, fall. That's amazing. I love it. I love that she can do that. This would make absolute new pilots feel so good. So Not that you shouldn't learn how to, I mean, you should absolutely learn how to deal with stalls. I mean, this is only one airframe designed in, in this way. Most likely, mo and most aren't. I think my dad would really love this. Can you see the light in my eyes? There's a fire in my heart lighting up the night with the love that never dies. I knew love would start with the fire. I knew love would start with the fire. I knew love would start with the fire in my heart. Eventually, you gotta lose enough airspeed. He's gonna fall. Yeah, I was gonna say it's at some point. At some point, you can only go so slow. <laughs> That's me. I'm not. Imp I mean, it's. I, I love a plane that can handle well, but I. I love a plane that's safe more. I love being able to fly slow. Some guys are off speed. I need I need speed. No, man. I you know, the art of slow flying, more slow flying. Uh I spent a lot of time in the um in the Cessna going back and forth when I was a, you know, learning just to do the VOR thing. I would fly out to the HGO VOR and then find my home base VOR and learn how to turn around and make my way back home. And I would just do that run back and forth, 
so I got comfortable with doing VOR, and I wanted to learn how to conserve as much fuel as possible and see how much I could get back with. And learning how to trim out the plane and manage your mixture and just get the plane floating on air. So yeah, while I'm gonna gun it, uh, this time I'm gonna see about just putting it into a super slow mode of flight, straighten the level. See if we can do hold at 40 knots, maybe. That's great, that's so slow. Oh, that's right. I don't think this thing has trim. Maybe I'll... It's gotta have a trim wheel. Okay, it's working. Boy. Slow down. Fun trim. Going, but that's saying it's all at once. Come on, give me more. All right, so something there's the trim right there. But it wasn't going any further than that. It's staying locked in that position. Don't give me any MOA. Why not? It's working when I'm hitting my trim buttons. I can see that it's a uh, that it, there, it's active. Doesn't want to give me any more though. Without that, man, she's just all or nothing. If I just barely touch the throttle, man, she's either full throttle or she's almost off. I would love more fidelity on the on the throttle a lot more leeway in there because basically she's off at the moment just enough throttle to hold there come on that's pretty And we crashed again. Check my fans. No, the fans weren't the problem this time. Uh, hmm. I have to say, gentlemen, I am impressed. I, uh, you know, I, I would look at it. I'm like, it doesn't suit my needs. I'm. You know, I want to do some cargo stuff. And as far as that's concerned, yeah, that's still true. But as a light sport plane, how the, uh, the configuration that they have on those wings, I think that might be it. Is the way, in this little picture that I'm looking at anyway, the, the wings seemed 
not to be in a direct angle of attack. The wings seem to be upward leaning. And so as the nose wants to fall in a stall, then those, maybe, I don't know. Either way, I like it. I like it. Oh, I see. Trying to restart the simulator now. Good time for a coffee and a smoke break. It's 19 minutes after the hour. Of course, it's going to be a good time here. Let me grab my smoking stuff here. Mm. Let me raise my coffee to you. Cheers. And again, thank you to Curtis, who's the latest subscriber. Thank you. Appreciate it. And Angel, thank you for stopping in. Thank you very much. Hans, cheers. Top of the day to you. Henning, top of the day to you. I've got a niece, and at, the, at Thanksgiving this year, she was cracking up because of a television show called The Last Man on Earth. I haven't seen it. But it's a, it's one of these end-of-the-world shows, right? Or zombies or whatever. Uh, and she said that uh, she's always asking me how I'm doing with my flying, and I tell her I'm, I'm all right, you know, still crash a lot. But, and that's what got her thinking about this show. She's like, there's these people and they, it's the end of the world. And uh, there isn't just one last man. He finds more people as they usually do. And I guess they need to get somewhere. And this, I guess this guy says he's a pilot or whatever. And he makes a big deal about, you know, them finding a plane. And then he immediately crashes. And I don't know if he kills them all or kills himself or whatever, but she was just laughing so hard about that. And I said, I don't want to be that person. What are you learning? And I'm like, I'm learning enough that I hope that even if I ever had to go uh, out there and steal a plane, fly, find a plane, whatever, end of the world situation, that I don't immediately crash. <laughs> I like you too. Okay, so we were at uh, you might have to you might have to invite me again, but we were at EDWU. And we need to set the sunset. You wanted me to check out the sunset there. That's about sunset. Set to December 11th, 5.57 p.m. Okay.
So I would like to think that trying to learn a lot of this stuff that, uh, yeah, I don't want to be the guy that crashes everybody in an end of the world situation. And, you know, it's so funny, uh, like 10 years ago, or let's just say five, six years ago, when I really uh, started wanting to learn how to do this, I, did I just crash again? I just crashed again. Maybe I... Uh, mm, hmm. It might be because I have a Germany. I'm not... I didn't update the world uh, Germany, and you have it. I don't... I don't know what the problem is. But it doesn't like it. Oh, that's great. It already updated Angel's name up there. Normally, it's been taking a while. But that's nice. So if there if if there is a way in that pipistrel override the trim there shouldn't be a trim limiter like that and I, if i can figure out how to override it that would be a wonderful thing because well i understand there's not a singular update i just don't have any like in the world updates for germany at all i've i've never if it's not the united states i don't get it i don't i have limited hard drive space so I don't know if that could, if that's it or not I was you know able to just fly there for a little while we shall try it again though but yeah if I could get that pipistrel to to its trim right that would be such a wonderful plane to fly slow also again the throttle on that it's way too sensitive there's no there's no play it's either off or on and any adjustment right there it's like you can hit full speed on my end and maybe i have to calibrate it again but at like 30 percent on my throttle it was already revving all the way high Earlier tonight, today's episode, earlier tonight, earlier today, start of the show. Tried messing around with choppers for a bit. Not very good luck. I need some helicopter training now. But we got to the choppa, and we saved a sim. So it wasn't a total wash of a day. A normal livery. Crotch fingers.
I just crashed again, gentlemen. It ain't happening there. Does not like it. Let me see if there's a graphics driver update. There's no new driver downloads. Let me check Windows. Nothing from AMD. I don't know. Anytime I, it, it, it probably is, but I don't know enough. Uh, me a place so it's just good to I check, see if it's a driver air. issue or Give me they have an updated driver, or Windows pushed an update. Everybody asks if I'm a cowboy when I live in Colorado. No, not really. It was more so in my teenage years. We actually kind of lived on a little horse ranch. Crazy town. You're looking for a hold down. Boy, I've seen the likes of you. Thinking that you're 100 proof. Whiskey shots, beer. I still have a little bit of cowboy in me somewhere. Game hacked. Didn't mama teach you right? You're staring down a lonely night. Cause a girl can drink and hit the smoke Bend the rules, spit and joke But in her heart a princess lives No matter how much bull she gives So bring it please and how you do Hold that door when I walk through Cause if you wanna be my prince tonight You gotta treat me right I ain't a girl gone bad You gotta show some pride Don't need a best ride I want a man who's got my back Forget about your jackal Let's, let's go back to KCOS. Will you put that hand on mine? Try and read the warning sign. If you think we'll drink and drive, I'll hit the brakes and watch you fly. So back up off that left foot. I gotta see under that hood. I don't mind a little dirt. As long as you're not built to hurt. Cause a girl can drink and hit the smoke. Then the rules spit and joke. But in her heart, a princess hides. No matter how she acts outside, so bring your please and how you do. Hold that door when I walk through. Cause if you wanna be my prince tonight, you gotta treat me right. I ain't a girl gone bad. You gotta show some pride, don't need a fast ride. 
pull it now. Well, where's my pips rule now? What? Look. You see that? What? Where did it go? Where did the plane go? <laughs> All right, come on, where is it? That's it. No, that's the CSTL. It's what? Watch sleep in the shadow of new moon towers. I may be dreaming, don't leave me drifting away. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I came in in safe mode. Aha. Uh -huh. That's weird. So it's not, that's so strange that it's not included when you go to safe mode. So I've got to back out again. You asked about how many hours I had. There you go. 1,194. Ugh, man, that is one of the biggest uh, drags about the simulators, how long it takes to load. I don't know if you have a... How long it takes to load on your end. Man, you see a slow... Yeah, you're almost there. Feels good. It uh, it definitely feels like an accomplishment. So much more so than other types of computer experiences. Because again, this is this has all real world application. I need to get me one of those little handheld computers that's E6B. I mean, that's... I always think I can't learn something. I can't learn something. It's going to be too hard. And, um... They have these little handheld computers that you use. Let's see if I can find it here. I need to turn this off. Oh, wow. I didn't know I went to an online one. There's these little computers that you get that you can hold in your hand. Yeah, like this. This is another interactive one. 
Oh, guys, come on. Yeah, it looks like that. You hold it in your hand, and when you're designing your flight plans, you have to use something like this. Got two sides to it. And so when you're, so in the real world, when you're taking your tests, you have to know how to use something like that. And I wish I, I've even written about it. I'm like, please find some way, find some way to put this into the simulator. You know, how, how do you, I mean, it's cool what we can do, but in the real world, they're going to slap one of these in your hands and they're like, okay. You're going to this VOR, and here's your wind maps, and here's all this. What core setting are you going to fly to compensate for any deviation in the wind based on this calculator that you have in your hand? Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay. And there's a way to do it, and I've watched some videos on it, but again, unless I have one in my hand, and you know... And can mess with it I don't uh, I don't readily get it but that's where I uh, kind of had last stop my training is on this thing I need to order one of these and have it in my hand so I can play with it so when I'm practicing my cross countries or just whatever just be able to use this and pass a test with this thing Okay, leaving it default. And just to keep things safe, I don't want to crash again. Let's just go back. Sorry, the moment I know it's safe here. I'm going back to K fly. And I'll show you our sunset. I love that how it's popping up. The Xbox notifications. I'm setting to 614. come back a little bit in time. But that's too dark. It's 
See, that's why we need better flashlights on these things. way to try to skin this cat. Let's try it this way. Set the autopilot and then start pulling back the throttle. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wrap it up too. So then I'm having the autopilot try to keep the nose up. Seeing how slow we can go. See if we can get it back up into the stall area. We're still losing speed. Come on. All right, we're right in stall area. A little bit more, a little bit more. Just listing a little bit. All right, a little more power. A little more power. Come on, a little more power. A little bit more. Uh, come on, a little bit more. Come on. Actually getting a stall warning now. Come on. If I have any flaps in. I did. Flaps were in. Shock Ultra is nice. All right, all right, so we've got speed up again. Now let me start pulling back again. Put it right, right there at that 40 knots if I can. Definitely don't want to have your flaps on. That was my problem. 
still picking up speed. About 40% throttle. Thirty percent throttle. Oh, she's doing it. Coming down twenty-five percent. Listening to the radio, it made me feel oh. better. Just hearing the sound of their voices. Don't know where they were. Don't know where they're from. Fifty-nine miles. Doing it. Ah, uh, no, hold on. Doing it. Doing it. Fifty-nine miles to go. Oh, she's still losing altitude. Fifty-four miles to Jacksonville. Fifty-one miles to go. Oh, he's so fast. Hans, good seeing you. Good flying with you today. Looks right about there at 50%. Let me see, a little bit more. Don't dip. Yeah, it's not so bad. Thing I want you to climb. Uh, I, you know, you're a German. Let me pause right there. You We're gonna wrap this me. show up. You taught me. You taught me. Go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, you have a math exam tomorrow. You're fine. Uh, go over it to where where you can teach the class. That's the way you should feel about it. Go in there saying if you had to stand up in front of the class and give the give the lesson on that test, you could do it. You'll do it. And besides, you're German. Again, what can't a German do? Right? It's math. You got this. So, you have a, a good test tomorrow, and you'll be just fine. And let me set this up here. For Da, 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 da. Don't know what we'll be doing tomorrow. Probably I am going to watch some helicopter videos. 
this uh, later afternoon and going into the evening. I have some stuff to do, but I definitely want to see what the helicopter pilots have to say about things because I don't have the right mindset for it yet. I'm not understanding, you know, how to think about the thing. I'm thinking about the thing in plain terms. I understand I need to dip the nose down, but I can't. I need to figure out how to do straight and level flight in a helicopter. If I can just do straight and level flight, I think it'll all start falling into place. So probably going to be doing some more of that tomorrow, trying to straight and level flight. Maybe we'll go save a couple more sims. And um, yeah. Maybe try out another one of the little small planes. Maybe we'll mess with that Sirius, Sirius SR-22 tomorrow as well. So you have a fantastic day out there. I'm going to crank up the music and end the show in about like 30 seconds. See you tomorrow or whenever. Whoa!